Vicky. Sorry I'm not very glamorous today. I just got out of work and I got to cut on out of town here soon. So I wanted to get this video done. It's so nasty outside though. It's been raining here for the entire week. So the contest is over. That's what this video is about. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. The winner was not me. My mom beat the brakes off me in this contest. She did like double what I did. So the final stats are I so, well, I'm gonna get my book so I can be sure. I made five items and I used 10 and three quarter yards of fabric in a month, which is much less than I thought I could do, so, <laughs> okay. And my mom made 10 things and she used 19 and 7 eighths yards of fabric. That's double, that's double. And she tricked me too, because she kept saying, oh, I didn't get to do much today and oh, I only got a couple of t-shirts done, stuff like, she's uh, clearly a known liar. Anyways, yeah, so <laughs> she drowns me. So I here I, I don't know exactly. I know a few things that she made, but um Ah, uh, oh man, I need some new t-shirts. Uh it's my work clothes. I'm not gonna make work clothes. Um so I will recap what I made. Uh the only thing I can't show you is the tank top that I made. I think that was the first thing that I made. It's in the dryer right now. So uh, I made the tank top, I made this sweater, um, I made this jacket, isn't that, oh my god, so pretty, so pretty, I think, I think, um, I don't think I showed this one in the video, but I have already made this pattern before, I'll give you the pattern numbers at the end, uh, they're in a pile, um, I, I've made this jacket before, so this is just the same jacket in a different fabric. The only thing I did differently with this one was instead of doing uh, the seam binding on the inside, I did lapped seams. And I did have to look up a tutorial on how to add a inseam pocket while doing a lap seam, and there was a really good one. So if I can find it again, I'll put it down below. But yeah, so this turned out really nicely. And then, of course, the Mimi G dress. This one had its own video. Love it. And then the last thing I managed to squeak out before the deadline was this skirt. Now, here we go. It's a border print. So I'm not wearing it right now. Like I said, I just got out of work. I'm still in my gross work clothes. I'm not about to put my pretty skirt on, but... Um, it fits, it's simple, well it's not that simple I guess. It was more complicated than I thought it would be. I thought, oh yeah, I can, I can do, it's just a skirt, I can sew it up in a day. I couldn't, and I don't know why I keep doing that, but look, it's all these like pleats, sewn down pleats that release out right here. And then there's a ribbon on top, I sewed on the top. Uh, invisible zipper, which is the worst one that I have ever, ever done in my life. Like, it, this, it's not, it's not invisible. It's just a zipper at this point. Um, now the skirt is like, kind of like floofy enough that I don't think anyone's gonna notice it and it certainly isn't bothering me enough that I would take it out. It's very close to the color of the fabric. And then this is only supposed to have a facing but because this fabric was kind of sheer, um, I wanted to um, line it fully. So I lined it with, I think this is Batiste, cotton Batiste, just plain white. Um, yeah, so it's cool. It's like knee length. Um, I will wear it in some other video um, and show you. There's really not a whole lot to say about it. It's a skirt. Um, it fits at the waist and it doesn't really need to fit anywhere else. So because it's big, you know. Anyway, so I, I got that done. And then here are the, um, this, this is that skirt. Uh, Simplicity 8555, I made view A. Um, just to recap, uh, this had, I believe this had its own video anyway. Simplicity 8424 for the um, 
wrap sweater here. I made quick sew 4101 here. I did the v-neck view. Um, Mimi G8123 right here view A. And then simplicity view B without the shoulder or the yeah shoulder things. Flaps. Shoulder flaps. So yeah that's pretty much how the contest went down. So I, me and my mom need to learn some things during this contest. I learned that I just, um, I'm just not fast. Uh, and that's okay. I don't need to be fast. I probably don't need to buy fabric in the quantities that I do since I clearly cannot possibly um, keep up with that amount of yardage. But it's nice to have options. So you would think that having learned that, the, the answer to that would be to buy less fabric, but I don't see that happening. Um, you know, that's what disposable income's for, right? So, yeah, so I learned that. I also learned that I don't like to rush. And not, I'm not, okay, I'm not saying that I rushed any of these. I, it's like the Mimi G dress took forever. And I guess I could have like, strategized and only so like um like really simple like knit things like like there's I have a skirt sitting over there that's only three pieces um and it's a maxi so it would use a lot of yardage and been very quick but I wanted to sew things that I really 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 wanted to have you know what I mean so I'm even though I didn't win I'm so glad that I did it that way um I also really really missed um, in between a project, like having time to just look through my patterns and look through my stash and touch things and, you know, change my mind and maybe make a little drawing of it or whatever, you know, just really think about what I want, what, what I want to do. And because there was a time limit on this, like as soon as I finished one, it was like, I really needed to have in my head, like what's next. Um, so I didn't get that chance to like reflect or, I mean, I had to take some time cause I make the videos and stuff like the Mimi G dress after I finished that, I had to make a video about it. I don't have to, but I wanted to, you know, so I think, I think I can, I think I can probably, I think there might be some room for improvement with speed, but I think that's going to have to come with time and isn't something I can force. Um, now, after the contest ended, um, that was the same week that my classes ended at school. So now I have a lot more free time, which is great after the contest is over. So that's cool, I guess. I wish I would have had that then. Um, but yeah, like I think, uh, I think I'll do all right. I did a really good job waking up on time, which is something I really struggle with. Um, basically, I, I put my free time on the pre-work part of my day so if I sleep through it it's no big deal like I'm not gonna miss work or anything because I don't have to go to work until like 11 p.m. you know so if I if I wake up at 8 instead of 6 p.m. then you know it just it eliminates my sewing time it doesn't have any other consequence other than that and sometimes some days you just need to roll through and get that sleep but I did pretty good I, I woke up on time mostly every time that I was supposed to so that's good because it has been a struggle for me in the past so yeah so I did my best um, I kept up the pace pretty well I didn't have anywhere to be on the weekends this will be my first drill weekend since the contest started so I was lucky I didn't have that going on but yeah lessons have been learned things have been learned about myself and I'm glad to have my time of reflection back so that's what I did last night to celebrate the end of the contest and what I found during my time of reflection was um, a few patterns that I really want to work out before Hawaii which is coming up soon and also I've had a pair of pants I may have mentioned them on this channel before that I made a pair of hot pink pants I think I mentioned it if I didn't here's the story I made a pair of hot pink ginger jeans and I 
I had been losing some weight at the time and I thought, oh, I can go down a size in these because the other size was feeling, you know, a little loose. So I went down a size. I didn't, I mean, you can't really, it's tough to, you wouldn't really muslin jeans, right? You just make them. So I went down the size and I made them in a fabric that is fluorescent pink, but it has kind of like a, like a coating on it almost. So it's not as stretchy as the other pair. And then I went and did um, a work trip to Georgia and ate a bunch of southern delicious um, food and gained like 10 pounds or some crazy stuff like that. And then the pants, so when I finished the pants, and I mean like all they needed left was the hem and the like rivets and the button. And that's it. They were almost done. So I came home and was finishing them and I went to go put them on and they just, they, I couldn't even get them over my thigh. So I was so, I was so bummed out because I was so excited to have hot pink pants. Well, and I've tried them on periodically here and there. I just did it last night. My pants fit. So, hot pink ginger jeans right here. This is as neon as it gets. And I, I line the pockets in this cute stuff here. Oh my God. So now, this summer, finally, after a year, all I gotta do is hem them and put the button and rivets on and I'm good to go. And I have hot pink jeans for the summer to go to Hawaii so I can be neon. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, so that's, that's basically what I got. Um, I have, the next video I make will probably I don't know if I'll have time to make it before I leave. I'll do my best to get the Me Made May video up. If not, I'll just take my camera with me and I'll have to make it while I'm in Hawaii. Um, for work. Hawaii for work. Uh, so, yeah, because I got a lot of stuff to say about Me Made May. That's it. That's all I've got for today. Contest is over. Mom won. Beat me down. Destroyed me. Good for her. Give her a round of applause. And uh, how did you guys do? Did any of you uh, keep track of what you were selling and know how much you did in the last month? I'd love to know what your number was. Um, yeah, so just leave me a comment and tell me uh, tell me whether you beat me too. I'm guessing that every single one of you probably beat me. So that's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's it. Goodbye. Meows is down there. Just living life. Okay. That's it. Bye.